agitated illusion Only big for confusion The, the institution Modern the execution Think I need the solution Maybe not should I do it Just put it in the music Just put it in the music Someone put me out Cause I'm on fire I can't give up About what they say They've been searching For that thing To get them higher You can't catch my joke Can't catch my way You'll burn out I'ma win, I won't lose with this. Ay, yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. Ay, yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. Ay, yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. Ay, I'm uh, turn the knob, can't resist, I'm incredible. Yeah, can't put a dollars, call it vegetable. <laughs> Get on. 
and bait. Make a play just like a quarterback. Oh. We ain't worrying about no farmers, we ain't staying there. Let's Running go. out the block, yeah, I'm something like a lineback. I got juice like a fan of how you like. <laughs> Control. Look inside my head through a telescope. You were raised so the calls from a telephone. No sense of smile, maybe tell a joke. Holding back your tears, singing minimal syllables. Yeah, look at me, I the asylum. Was a fate or mistake? Cause the time ain't up. Yet a parts of my mind don't get much love. If you want to my head, come and call me up. You look like a twisted Robin Hood. Do you take from the rich and the poor and us? Wearing diamond shoes where you walk your pugs in a town you could rate where there ain't no love. Drip out from the socket to a teacup, drink up inside, look when they peep us. Choose us in the belly of the beast, but outside there's a war going on on your front lawn. Black hawk, see the red dawn horizon. Blind yet I'm rising, abiding by laws of attraction, my thoughts still rising. Thank you. What type of knowledge don't sink in? Life gives you lemons and my only thought is drinking. Thirsty, will I be alive or dead before 30? This all that concerns me early. Lemonade quenching my inner rage when it takes to the stage way before they pouring on my grave. Been it made, let it set my soul ablaze. On each and every way, put me in the water for the safe. They don't know my name. Denver. This is Madden NFL 21. We'll 
see Drew Locke and the Denver Broncos taking on Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at the foot of the Rockies just west of downtown Denver at Empower Field at Mile High. Just a short time ago, sounds loud enough to reverberate across the Rockies. They're ready for football in Denver as the Broncos get set to do battle with the Brandon Buffalo McManus Bills. The kickoff for Denver. The Broncos will kick. Here's Brandon McManus to start us, and we are off from Denver. Taken in the end zone. They had no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. carry for Devin Singletary and he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Brings up second and four at the 31 yard line. So the shotgun snap to Allen looking middle and it's incomplete. And he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. Yards to go. Allen from the gun on third down. He finds some open field here. And he will score. Touchdown, Denver. Well, it was third down defensively. They were just hoping to make a play and get off the field, get their offense on. Instead, they did one better. Pick it off, take it into the end zone. Well, they did what you said. They got they off did the get field. Off. They're going to have to come right back on. They're going to come right back on, but happily, right? They put the ball in the end zone. That's the way you start a game. That's the way you set the tone. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. And he's got it, seven nothing Broncos. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Brandon McManus to kick off for Denver. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Fielded in the end zone, and Roberts choosing not to bring this one out. At their own 25 yards. Now the Bills heading out for their next drive. Remember, they finished 10 and 6 with a playoff berth a year ago. But gosh, it's now been 24 seasons since a Buffalo playoff win. However, Charles, you think about it for the first time in years, confident optimism in upstate New York that the Bills might wind up being the toast of the new look AFC East. And Brandon, they're doing their best not to assume that mantle, right? They still want it to be on New England. But let's call it as it is. The Buffalo Bills, to me, are the clear front runner in the AFC East. Remember, there's no Tom Brady in New England anymore. This is their opportunity to take over a division. Remember Brady? He was 32-3 and three against them in his career as a Patriot. And they also spiced up the offense. They got Stephon Diggs from Minnesota, Charles, and Zach Moss in the draft. He's got a man complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. First down, Bill. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Allen. And he finds Beasley complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Brings up second. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. A quick throw here out to Brown. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. First Zero hesitation that time. That was get ball, throw ball. Yeah, it turned into a smoke route. If you see the coverage off the receiver, doesn't matter whether you call it a run or not. Just take the ball, get it out to him. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Broncos seven. 
Bills nothing. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. Touchdown. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Buffalo. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying the football game. For the extra point. Well, they weren't messing around. First and goal, they don't do anything fancy. They just go to the fullback right away. I like how you phrase that because oftentimes the they come back to the fullback when it's that late in the, the down and distance count, right? In this case, first down, let's go get it right now. Fast. And he got it six points on the board. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Here comes the Bronco offense with Drew Locke from Missouri in charge. What a roller coaster for Drew Locke from the NFL draft until the end of his rookie season because on draft night, he thought he might go in the first round. Ended up going in the second and then didn't get to start with the Broncos until the end of his rookie year. But the Broncos did go 4-1 in those games and he played very well. Working on his agility and his pocket presence in the offseason. And I love how the Broncos upgraded around him in order to give him more weapons. And he will lose yardage on the play back at his own 19 yard line. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. From the gun on third down, Locke. He'll fire one down. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. This defense is really flown around in the first. And all the way home for a Bronco score. Noah Fant, 81 yards. And the Broncos have taken the lead. Brandon McManus lining up. That's a heck of a response to regain the lead after we had seen the touchdown to tie the game. I would say what we just saw there was a great amount of poise because typically when teams tie the game up, it's a little bit of a, how would you say, you kind of kind of take a step back and have to get yourself regrouped. They regrouped in a hurry, didn't they? They attacked back after they'd been tied. And in a big way, that was a statement long touchdown. And they will watch this one land in the end zone. That'll be a touchback. Their own 25-yard line. The football back to the Bills and Stephon Diggs. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. On first down, they'll start out with Singletary. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Josie Jewell on the tackle. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter. 14 to 7. And seven at the 28-yard line. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. They'll get nothing out of that one, and it's going to lead to a third down. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And the throw there going to be incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Fourth down. On fourth down, on is Corey Bajorquez to punt. And Denver has Deontay Spencer deep to return. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And that'll kick and go out of bounds just outside the 15 at the 16-yard line. 16-yard line. Now the Denver offense ready to go again. You know, high expectations for this club in 2020, especially when you consider that they're coming off a run of missing the playoffs four straight years since their Super Bowl win in Super Bowl 50. So, Charles, it's a very, very hungry franchise. Oh, I'd say that this is... A it got his man complete! And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 36 yards on the play. Able to hit on a big play right there in the two-minute drill. Now they've got a chance to use all the remaining clock and build on their lead right before halftime. Really? 
So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Buying time to his left. Now he's going to let it go deep. And this is caught inside the five. And he takes it all the way down to the three. It's a big play there for the Broncos. 45 yards. Block working out of the gun. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. Intercepted by the Bills. Bill Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. So after the INT, it's Allen finding Knox there, complete. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Looking to throw again on second down. Allen, and that's complete to Brown. 20, 10, and all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Complete to John Brown. Touchdown. As the first half is winding down, and the Bills are an extra point away from tying the football game. After nearly 30 minutes of football, that touchdown puts us in a position where if they make the extra point, we're right back to even before we start the second half. Tyler, Tyler Bass, Bass now for the, the point player. after. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. The quick strike ability certainly intact there. Two plays, 80 yards to score it. Tyler Bass. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. To return it, here's Deontay Spencer. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. On the return. The Broncos, the Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. Time here for likely one play, and then these two teams will head to the locker room all even. And you know the play callers just be on there right now. Let's go ahead and go for this one. A big <laughs> shot down. No, no, no. Guaranteed head coach is like, don't get crazy. Take the knee. Let's get out of here. Tie game. We'll just start all over. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. There you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter, here we go. Tyler. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. On the return is Spencer. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The return. The Broncos take over first and 10. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game, we'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Gotta wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You've got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan showing you. He'll let this go deep for Sutton. He's got a man complete. And all the way down to the 39. A huge play there for Denver. 43 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Back-to-back -back receptions for him. But it's another first down. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Into the red zone, it's Locke. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. Defense. That's what I'm 
trying to defend the out route there, got the P.I. call. And you know what's difficult about that one is sometimes you want to make the undercut move and go for the football, and other times you just want to hang on the upfield shoulder and make the... And he will fight his way into the end zone for a Bronco touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out, and the Broncos have broken the tie. Second effort there, he was determined to find pay dirt, and he did. I think that's a great example of what coaches talk about, a back that runs behind his pads, and he uses pads to get him into the end zone. Now McManus for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. A drive there of just four plays, and it was capped off by a Philip Lindsay touchdown run. Brandon McManus to kick off for Denver. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And they'll watch this one fall in the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. 25-yard line. So here's the Bills offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point, but it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. He'll be dropped Number after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. He's brought down at the They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Brings up second and four. From the gun, it's Allen. And this one caught by Beasley. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. A three-yard gain on the play. Brings up third down. Right here, right here. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field, and I don't think he got there. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively, and it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one... He looked like one of those guys. Returning it, here's Spencer. Get ready, get ready. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this swim lead. A running play here on first down is going to go nowhere as he is tackled behind the line of scrimmage. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself but now is the time to start using those timeouts and keep in mind it'll also stop the clock at the two minute warning now this home crowd they're happy with that call <laughs> i like the way you said happy there right the so-called good guys didn't get a call they feel like it's been that way all afternoon you feeling their pain they finally got one yes they did and I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Second and 12. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it does it, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. He's got his big tight end fan. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. 
So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold him. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 Sam to go. Martin. Here's Sam Martin now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. He'll send this one into the mile-high air, and it's a good one. To return is Roberts. It's a 49-yard punt, but subtract nine there for the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and ten. Allen and the Bills now down 21-14, a minute 47 on the clock. They need a touchdown and the PAT to tie it as they come up first and ten. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. The clock still runs. We're at 90 seconds now. He's going to let it fly. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. They were trying to go to Brown once again, and it's third down. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. And that is incomplete. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. Allen will look to throw for it on fourth. He completes it to the tight end, Knox. And they're able to get this one across the 35. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. He'll get three yards on the scramble there. It's second down. Allen try to hurry everybody up to the line of scrimmage. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Mike's 42. Back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. That's going to be caught. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. touchdown. Stephon Diggs with time running out. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying the football game. Yes, it was a touchdown, and not just a TD, but how about a long touchdown that puts them in a great position now? And now just an extra point away from tying this thing. Here's Bass now for the extra point. And no sweat, he puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. On the return, the Broncos take over first and 10 at their own. And Denver getting set to take the field. They have a little bit of time here to get into field goal range. Not much. A tie game. You don't want to do anything crazy, right? I agree with you on that one. Risk reward, okay? If you go for it, what is the absolute reward on this? But the risk is probably greater. Run the clock out, get to overtime, and try and win it there. All right, we'll see if they do just that. At the 33-yard line. And we need overtime to decide this one after four quarters of play. We're all even. The extra session in a moment. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over.
Don't you get down.